Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Simwada. This is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. For today, we are going to highlight some cotton candies. I do have uh, the perfume haul here that we did recently from Sugar Me Sweet. Um, I wanted to feature two or three fragrances at a time, but I got really excited comparing and contrasting these, these cotton candies for you guys. So we're going to focus on Sugar Me Sweet's cotton candy. I'm going to compare it to other cotton candies in my collection, let you guys know how the wear goes, how the wear went. This is an Eau de Parfum oil, um, so um, it is a spray, it's not the roller ball from Sugar Me Sweet. You can find this company on Etsy, I will link in the description my first impressions of the whole little mini haul. And let's get right into it because we do have a couple of fragrances to talk about. If there's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So let's start off with one that I nearly, this close blind bought from Amaris, uh, the shop in Italy that I have done a haul from before. Um, that is Sercinel Aqua's Suchero Filato. Okay, this is cotton candy. I do have a decant. Um, right here, so 10 ml of this gorgeousness. <laughs> I will be comparing this to another fragrance other than the Cotton Candy Sugar Me Sweet that I wore it with side by side because it just evoked this and she's right here. Her name is Jolie, also from the Sercinel Aqua line. The uh, perfumer's name is Enrico Buccello and um, this these are exclusive to the shop Amaris in Italy, okay? Now, this fragrance is on the pricey side. This is on the more economical side. We have a 100 ml bottle coming in at, um, after taxes and shipping and all that from Italy. If you live in the US, you will pay $247.07 for a bottle of this beauty. <laughs> And I call it a beauty because I truly, oh, I really enjoyed this. Now on the site, it says, Suchero Filato, the emotion of a child at the amusement park holding a soft and sweet cloud in his hands. The notes for this are sugar, cotton candy, icing sugar, and musk. And the feeling this evokes is just pure comfort, pure nostalgia sugar, sweet, like tonic even. Uh, the re for that reason, the fact that it gave me a little bit of a latonic vibe, it really did point me to a couple of fragrances. Um, the Suchero Filato here, the candy is not, the can cotton candy notes, the candy is not as pronounced. I do get a touch of um, like a, a berry tone a tiny bit, uh, but it's it's way more vanillic and, and musky and lactonic. So if I, if you're familiar with the Jo Lee from the brand, I do have a review. I will link it in the description as well. Jo Lee is, to me, it just tastes, taste. taste. <laughs> it smells like you could eat it, uh, like a macaron, like a macaron cookie, uh, you know, peach, raspberry, all mixed together, sugary, fluffy, delicious. That is what I get also from Suchero Filato. I did get some compliments. It fills up a room. The projection is enormous. You're gonna fill the room with vanilla cookies. Um, I had a friend tell me twice, because I did get to wear it twice, that I smelled like snickerdoodles. So this is a snickerdoodle fragrance. <laughs> if you were to combine the Bianco Latte, the musky, lactonic, vanilla, you know, slight, there's some caramel tones in here too. Uh, Bianco Latte mixed with Joe Lee, you would get the feeling that I got from Suchero Filato, I feel. Um, so for that reason, and, and the price point, $247, I will hold off. We're not doing full bottles this year, but this is definitely on the wish list. I mean, it is a little bit of a hybrid, but at the same time, so enjoyable, and it does give off a different scent in the air. It wafts, okay? It hits you all day long. No problem sticking to your skin. Uh, enormous projection, I'm telling you. And and sillage, you will leave a trail, okay? So, um, yeah, Suchero Filato by Sergenel Aqua was a gem to wear. Now, I did wear it alone so I could talk to you about it. You know, what was it giving me uh, on its own? And then I even wore it side by side with the cotton candy from Sugar Me Sweet. Um, so let's bring this up already. This one... 
oh my gosh <laughs> i loved it too i can't say that i did not it was just extremely different to what i had imagined um i imagined this cotton candy from sugar me sweet being fluffy like very much in the same vein as your suchero filato from kai's perfumes and that is not what we get okay i'm gonna spray it to revisit i didn't want to waste my sprays of this expensive suchero filato okay charlie <laughs> oh my gosh now this 30 ml bottle will run you $29 on the Etsy site and then um, on the Sugar Me Sweet site and then a 10 ml will run you $12. So in comparison, the price point is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So what I get from this primarily is, and I got it in my first impression as well, candy sweet. I get, I get a strong berry, okay? Um, it starts to meld into, I mean, all I can think about is strawberry shortcake, not cake-like at all, and not doll head per se. Um, but what do we have in the notes? We have blue raspberries and sweet strawberries topped with spun sugar. I don't get a fluffy cotton candy. I don't get any of the... Um, you know, like vanillic undertones that I did get from the uh, Suchero Filato by uh, Sercinel Aqua. Oh man, but I do get a strong candy vibe from the cotton candy. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just missing for me because I'm used to my cotton candies uh, that I've received here recently having that vanilla fluffy feel. Um, it doesn't have that, you guys. It's more picture those, um, you know, the whole um, strawberry shortcake world. Like the little lip glosses. The, you know, the little strawberry lip glosses. Yeah. I, I don't get a full-on plastic. It doesn't go full plastic, but it is just very synthetic smelling. And just that gorgeous strawberry just sticks out of this fragrance. <laughs> So uh, for that reason, it was very different. Um, I had seen in a couple of reviews that the Suchero Filato was close to the cotton candy here by Sugar Me Sweet, but it is definitely not. They're two very different fragrances. At the way beginning of the Suchero Filato, when I get that candy scent that I also do get in Jolie, um, it, those are the same at the way beginning. And then it just immediately goes a different route <laughs> i mean night and day <laughs> so yeah two very different fragrances but it, it is really really nice if you do not care for the lip gloss scents the you know the the makeup of our olden you know childhoods if, if you don't care for that type of sugary strawberry sweet then you will not drive with cotton candy it's not fluffy it's not airy it's not has any van vanillic tones um, you know, you get a straight up what I'm ex what I'm trying to describe. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing a very good job. Um, I cannot say that I didn't like it. It just wasn't what I had expected. Okay. Um, yeah, I expected it to be a little different. So we have two more fragrances uh, that I wanted to talk to you guys about um, in relation here to cotton candy. Um, I do have cotton candy perfume oil by Sugar Milk Company. Uh, but first, let's talk about Suchero Filato by Kais. Now, Kais is currently working on a, about four weeks out, and they are working on a pre-order system. So if you go to the Kais website, you can place your order, but just know it is on pre-order and then um, and then tack on four weeks on top of that or something. Um, you know, so wait times right now are pretty, are pretty long uh, for Kais, but these fragrances are worth it, um, in my opinion. We have some spun sugar, we have berries, and more spun sugar is all that it says for Suchero Filato. Um, another Suchero Filato, but this one's by Kais. Um, this is not a straight up cotton candy. Mm -mm. Oh no. This one is, yes, it has that sweet, sweet strawberry. It is not as synthetic as the cotton candy by Sugar Me Sweet. It is very um cream i get a creamy you know really wanting to lean lictonic type strawberry there in the opening yeah it's not 100 straight up candy it is like lictonic cream safe strawberry cream saver type scent 
<laughs> I love Cerchetta. Cerchetta Filato is one of my favorites as well. I don't highlight this enough. I don't highlight it as much as I highlight Delicia de Marshmallow, also by Kais. Uh, but let me tell you something about this beauty. Cerchetta Filato. It, it blends very well, just like the Delicia. And it has an underlying dry down of the same vanillic quality that the Delicia de Marshmallow has. I get a musky vanilla. I get that Kais, you know, base, that vanilla that Kais uses that is so intoxicating. And the projection and the longevity of these fragrances is no joke, no lie. Very similar to the strength that we got from, from the Cerchina L'Aqua. And this is actually um, a relatively better price point. We have a 60 ml bottle for $85 and I think a 15 ml bottle as well uh, for $35. Yeah. And then, yeah, <laughs> it's just wonderful too. I just love this fragrance, you guys. Yeah, I don't highlight it enough. It does go a little bit lactonic, which you wouldn't really expect from a fragrance that says cotton candy. Um, it only mentions berries and sponge sugar. No, we have a tiny bit of a lactonic tone, and then we have that underlying base, that vanilla base. So it's like a cotton candy vanilla gorgeousness. <laughs> and uh, nothing really compares to it. Uh, you know, it doesn't smell exactly like anything else. Um, I will say, oh, I don't have my Delisa de Marshmallow with me, my body butter. When, as far as the body butters are concerned, I did not care for the Kais Suchero Filato body, body butter. It was very, like, I was rubbing yogurt all over myself. <laughs> the lactonic tones were a no for go on the skin. I will be very honest. Uh, but the Delisa de Marshmallow body butter was bliss, is bliss. It's, yeah, I have two, I have a backup. <laughs> Cause don't know when that's coming back. Um, all right, you guys, so that was the Suchero Filato by Kais. Yeah, just know what to expect from that. It's not a straight up, you know, strawberry shortcake. This is gonna be the one from Sugar Me Sweet. It's gonna be a nice layering fragrance. Yes, <laughs> it's over here. It's so strawberry shortcake. Like you could mix this with a strawberry pound cake. You could even add Bianco Latte and make it a little bit lactonic and vanillic. It would be no problem. The base would be nice. Um, all right, so last but not least, we do have here Cotton Candy by Sugar Milk Company. I rolled it here. <laughs> Let me do it again. Now this one, I do love the packaging from this company. You can find them on Instagram, actually. Sugar Milk Company, just look it up. Cotton Candy, they used to work on an ordering window, but I've been getting a lot of emails lately, so maybe they stopped doing that, and maybe they're open all the time. This is so, I do not use this enough. This is so sweet and candy-like, but it doesn't go full on strawberry shortcake. This one has a little bit different mix and blends of candy oh yeah this one sure does this one is so different um but if i would have to say oh yeah <laughs> this is so nice this is just sweet sweet candied um you know cotton candy this is really really nice the oil it's a perfume oil my only thing with the the perfume oils uh this one in particular is I like to spray it. I like to automize it. I don't like to just roll it on because I want it to have a little bit of, you know, a uh, projection off of me. Ah, oh, that's the only reason, but they're great to layer with. This one dries down, again, does not have a vanillic undertone, um, but it, it doesn't dry down as um, synthetic smelling as the uh, Sugar Me Sweet Cotton Candy. No, it doesn't. It's 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 definitely different, but it is closer in scent to the Sugar Me Sweet than any of the others that I mentioned. The uh, Suchero Filato here, Jolie, and the other Suchero Filato are all in the same, you know, vicinity realm, a little more complex cotton candies. And these are more Sugar Me Sweet and Sugar Milk Company are more straight up candy-like. Yeah, with not a lot of, not a whole lot of depth to them, just deliciousness. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was all that I had to say today, you guys, about these cotton candies. Um, did I mention how long this lasted? 
I um, applied the, I didn't apply too much because it's actually really strong when you first spray it, the cotton candy. Um, I, I only wore it on one side because I did the suchero on the other. Um, I spray had sprayed it here on my wrist and I washed my hands all day long and it did not go away. So this one really clung to the skin hours. Um, a good 10 hours or so it was on my skin. On the clothes it did not come off. So we had cotton candy with us all day long. Longevity was no problem. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say about these. I keep saying that and then I keep talking. <laughs> so delicious. Um, all this cotton candy. It just really depends on what your preferences are. Um, you know, do you like a complex cotton candy or do you want a nostalgic touch? Uh, you know, what are you looking for? Uh, that is what I'm getting to my nose with all of these. Uh, I'd love to know what your preferences are. And um, if you'd be interested in checking out the Cotton Candy from Sugar Me Sweet. And even though, you know, it's it's not um, what you might have thought it was. <laughs> uh, like me, I really thought since I had gotten my nose on all these others, it was going to be in the same realm. Uh, but it is definitely not, you know, fluffy, airy. It is not. <laughs> Okay, that was it for today. I'm going to come back to you guys soon with some marshmallow comparisons. I already brought up Delicia de Marshmallow. Will it continue? Will it stay in the GOAT category? Will this continue to be the marshmallow GOAT on this channel? I don't know uh, because we do have one here from Sugar Me Sweet that got me super excited to try. And I have been trying, experimenting, getting to know it, and I'm going to give you all the details. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.